Hi, it's Cassie, artist in residence with Imagine. I'm going to show you how to use Imagine's versatile product line to create this Halloween mixed media piece. So I'm starting with this uh, burlap gessoed board and I'm covering it with white gesso uh, around most of the surface. Then I have this chipboard um, frame that I'm going to cover with black gesso. And really what I'm doing now is just priming all of the elements that I'm going to use in my final piece so that they can accept other colors and sprays and pigments. So finally for the, um, these are just two clay pieces that have been molded. Um, they're being covered with a watered down white gesso because there are a lot of intricate pieces in it and I want to make sure that they were completely covered. So for this background where I've done, I stamped the um, the skull background with the Versafine Claire and Monarch on a tea bag. So I save my tea bags after I use them and I leave them flat and let them dry. And I use them on projects and they look really cool and, and pretty fun. So I've done that here today. And then I'm using Creative Medium as an adhesive here. It dries clear. I can put it all over the, the surface and really get it nice and flat on the background there. And it works lovely. So next, <clears throat> I'm sort of playing with the pieces, deciding on the layout, figuring out where I want stuff to end up, and then also figuring out um, what color I want to use. So I'm playing with different products, and first, first up is Creative Medium in Gold. I really want this frame to be nice and gold. So I'm, I'm starting with that. I'm going to let it dry and see how it looks. Then I'm using the purple creative medium. You'll see in the pot there it looks white, but when you put it on the black surface, it's purple and it's kind of like a mm, sort of like an iridescenty purple. It's really beautiful and shiny. I really love it. So then I'm going to play with the, um, the key and the keyhole and the frame some more and give those some color. The key I want to be like a dingy orangish brown. So I'm starting with the base as Tangelo. <clears throat> and then I'm going over it with some potter's clay just to dinge it up a little bit. I want it to look dirty and old kind of. So for this keyhole, I'm using um, grape jelly. First I use the firework spray to just get good general coverage and then I went over it with the colored texture spray from the irresistible line and it looks really great. So I wanted more gold on this uh, frame so I got out the Pico embellisher in gold and I'm covering the whole thing because I want it to be nice and bold <clears throat> and kind of a bright gold to go over that um, that smaller skull that's going to be our focal point. So there's those three pieces. Look at that colored texture spray. <clears throat> Excuse me, my voice is doing something weird. <laughs> so this key wasn't quite um, dingy enough. So I went over it with um, some rich cocoa and then that potter's clay again, just to dirty it up some more. All right, I really wanted to have bloody flowers because this is Halloween. This is the time for ghouls and gruesomeness and just, you know, kind of freaky things and I love Halloween and I really wanted to have a fun kind of crazy piece here so I am using love letter colored texture spray and let me tell you it makes the best blood <laughs> it's a weird sentence to say out loud but it really does it works really great if you're doing any fun decorating or anything for Halloween I highly suggest using this it's a love letter colored texture spray so then I put some shattered glass uh, glitter on all of those flowers. I um, am adding, uh, I stuck down that skeleton inside the frame there and I'm just sort of deciding on the final textures and, and background elements before I stick everything down. And I decided that I had to have some of this gold thread. I've used this gold thread so many times in the past for other projects and I just I just keep going back to it because it works so well with so many different uh, types of projects. So I've added a little bit here. <clears throat> so now I have to stick down this frame, but it's kind of, you know, it's got a lot of holes, it's intricate, and 
how do you stick it down? I use creative medium because number one, it's super sticky. It's going to hold it in place. You, it will never come apart, but also if anything falls through, comes through the cracks, you can clean it up quickly with a brush. It dries clear. So even if there is a little bit left over, you're not going to see it and you can see how quickly it holds things in place and sort of heavy things too. So I really love using the uh, clear creative medium as an adhesive. <clears throat> So now I've got the um, the key there and that little owl head. I love owls and I just, I had to find a place to add him. And um, I wanted to incorporate that gold thread in another element on this piece. So one thing when you're, when you're creating a layout like this, you really want to repeat colors, you repeat textures, patterns, things like that. It helps draw the eye around the piece and it keeps it nice and cohesive. So now I am using these paper flowers. They've dried and I'm using the creative medium there to stick them down. And I'm telling you, once they're down, they're not going to move anywhere. You can see I'm almost out of creative medium there. I think I'm going to have to get some more. <laughs> it's I just use it all the time. So I'm sticking all the flowers down here. <clears throat> and again, that blood is just so cool. Perfect for Halloween. Um, again, creative medium on that keyhole and the key. It sticks all different types of surfaces down. And then I really felt like I had to uh, finish with some blood splatter. I couldn't let those flowers just sit there with dripping blood and have the blood not drip anywhere. So that's what I'm doing. I've covered the part that I don't want to have the red splatter and I'm just adding a little bit to the bottom half of that, um, that layout there. And I think that helps to finish it pretty nicely. So one final little element that I decided I wanted to add was this little um, metal spider. So I put him right in one of those flowers there and when you see it close up uh, looks pretty cool kind of creepy <laughs> so here is my final layout you can see those flowers how awesome and the background too I love that stamp and that monarch um, VersaFine Clear ink so all of these elements here I've used creative medium firework spray Clair ink all of it it really comes together to create a really fun nice Halloween piece I hope you found some inspiration here today, and as always, visit ImagineCrafts.com. Thanks.